Now we will guide you through a fast and easy fabrication technique to achieve porcelain-like aesthetics for a metal-free single crown using the Ceramage Micro Ceramic System. Prepare the working model and separate the die. After removing the die from the tray, clean the surface and mark the margin with a red pencil. The prepared die ready for fabrication of single crown. Overview of the basic build-up technique of a metal-free single crown. Step 1. Application of spacer. Step 2. Application of separator. Step 3. Application of flow opaque. Step 4. Build-up of dentin or body. Step 5. Build-up of cervical area. Step 6. Build-up of enamel. Step 7. Finishing and Polishing Application of Spacer Shake the Ceramatch Spacer to ensure homogeneous consistency. Now apply a thin even layer on the die and avoid application on the margin area. This step is important to achieve adequate space for the resin cement during final placement of the restoration. Ceramatch Spacer is designed to change color from milky white to transparent when completely dry to indicate that you can proceed to apply the separator. Application of Separator Ceramage Sep is used next to ensure easy separation of the restoration from the dye. Now apply an even layer of Ceramage Sep on the entire surface and let it dry. Application of Opaque Layer Dispense the Ceramage Flow Opaque A2O into the mixing dish. Then apply a thin even layer using a brush to cover the entire surface completely. Do not apply the opaque on the margin area. Now, place the dye on the tray and light cure in the Solidolite curing unit for 3 minutes. 1, 3, 5 indicates the curing times available. The rotating platform ensures uniform cure to enhance physical properties. Build-up of dentine Select the shade of Ceramatch body and dispense the required amount onto the paper pad. Then press the material to a thin circle and take half to apply over the die. Gently adapt the material over the entire surface and ensure that no air bubbles are included. You can see that Ceramatch is easy to handle and doesn't stick to the instrument. Remove the excess from the margin area using a cutting knife. The first application of dentine is complete. Place the die on the tray and select button number 1 on the curing unit to light cure for 1 minute.
buildup of cervical area. Now, we will build up the cervical area by selecting AC1 designed for A2 shape. Syringe the required amount and apply over the cervical area and press gently to avoid air bubbles. Use a brush with modeling liquid to smoothen the surface. Apply on the lingual area in the same manner, then smoothen with a brush. Remove the excess from the margin with a cutting knife. Once the cervical buildup is complete, place the dye on the tray and light cure for one minute. Now place the dye back on the model and build up the dentine with Ceramage Body A2 shade. Build up gradually to the actual size of dentine. Then smoothen with a brush. Use the cutting knife to remove any excess material from the interproximal area. Remove the dye from the model and touch up the dentin layer. Remove the other dyes from the base and place base with only the working dye in the Solida light. Select 3 and light cure for 3 minutes. To achieve better curing, you can raise the platform closer to the light. After curing, remove the die from the light box and place the adjacent dies on the base. Now, select the Ceramage Translucent Shade and take the required amount with a composite instrument. Then build up the incisal area to obtain a more natural translucent effect. Smoothen the surface with a brush and build up to the final form. Use the cutting knife to create the mamelons. Then place in the sublight for temporary quick cure to stabilize the material. Build up of enamel. Select the incisal shade 58 and dispense the required amount onto the paper pad. Press the material to achieve the desired consistency. Then apply a thin layer on the incisal area and smoothen with a brush to avoid air bubbles.
wrap over to the lingual side and sculpture to its final form. Use a brush on the lingual side to smoothen the surface. The crown is almost complete. Remove the adjacent dies and place in the solidolite for 3 minutes and raise the platform to enhance polymerization. After curing, remove from the light box. The buildup of the single crown is complete. Finishing and polishing. Use the Dura Green Stone to contour the crown to obtain the anatomical shape. Create the pericaimata on the labial surface with Dura Green Fine Stone. Now we use the Silicon Points HR2 for pre polishing the surface. Next, we use the hard Robinson brush with Dura Polish Aluminum Oxide Paste. Followed by the soft Robinson brush with Dura Dia Diamond Polishing Paste. To achieve a high luster, repeat the use of Dura Polish and Dura Dia in three cycles. Finally, use the buff disc to achieve a glaze-like polished surface. The completed restoration with porcelain-like aesthetics and natural translucency. Now you can separate the single crown from the die and remove the spacer easily. Place the crown back on the die to confirm the margins. The dentin and enamel can be clearly demarcated similar to natural teeth with a glaze-like final polish.